Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Getting ready to go for a nice easy run. We're in the Pegasus 40s today. And today's video, I want to talk about easy runs. How many you should do, what it is an easy run. And why I think it's one of the most important things that you kind of need to master as a runner if you want to get better. So let's talk first. What classifies as an easy run? Is it heart rate? Is it an exact certain pace from the marathon effort, maybe slower? And I've done this just to dumb it down because I don't really follow the biomechanical stuff of, you know, your heart rate's gotta be 140, 130. You gotta be two minutes slower than the marathon pace. You know, your heart rate's important to keep it low. But the easiest thing that I do to make sure I'm running easy is, can I have a conversation? Like right now. If I could have a full conversation talking, that's my easy pace. Let's keep it simple. And if I know I can talk, I know my heart rate's low. And I know. This is my easy pace. So you can follow the heart rate route or, you know, a couple minutes slower than your marathon pace, but I just like to keep it simple because it's different for everybody. And sometimes I run easy pace, but my heart rate is way up. Just because the weather could be cold, could be hot. There's a lot of different factors in it. And an easy run pace. Give yourself a range. That's why I don't like following a pace exactly. Saying like, oh, my easy pace is eight flat. It's like, no, for me, my easy pace is like between like 750 and 825. Depending on how I'm feeling, what kind of workouts I did the day before, all these different factors. So I give myself a range. How many easy days? should I be running now for me personally it changes with everybody no one's the exact same so I run six days a week and take one day off out of those six days I run four easy runs and two workouts now I made this method because when I try to do three workouts it was really hard and on at least one of those workouts, I didn't feel fully recovered. Because while the easy runs are important, those workout days are the most important. And you wanna make sure you go into them 100% ready to attack it. So when you had only two workouts in a week, four easy days, those two workouts, you were ready to nail it. Now one crucial piece of advice I can give you I've been seeing a lot on social media. Do not, and I repeat, do not wear your race day shoes or carbon plated shoes on your easy run. Do not do that. Those are made for races. So, even though you may feel like you're not going fast, you're going a lot faster than what you're supposed to do. Those shoes are meant for half marathon, marathon, and to keep your legs fresh throughout that. So you might feel like you're going slow, your legs might feel fresh, but they're not. You're wearing those carbon plated shoes. That's what they're designed to do on race day. Your easy runs, how I how to interpret it, it should just kind of be whatever runs what do i mean by that whatever runs you shouldn't be out here trying to hit a certain pace trying to set any prs or anything or make a mile fast that's not what these runs are designed to do they're designed to recover you from the important runs the really important runs now the like i said these are important to get your mileage up and to get your nice and easy recovery miles in like yesterday 
I had a really intense workout. I had uh, mile repeats. I basically had a decrease in the ladder. I had mile repeats. I'm sure every runner, every runner's worst nightmare, those geese. Do they attack you in your area? Because they attack me in, in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. But I had, anyways, I had mile repeats, thousands, eight hundreds yesterday. So today I have six miles easy. About to finish up, about a mile left. Um, so if I tried to even run moderate or faster than my slow run, it will hinder my performance on recovering, hence making it easier to get injured. And also it'll take longer for that recovery process from the work that I put in. So just keep that in mind, make sure to run your easy runs easy, be able to hold a whole conversation. That's your easy pace and how I feel my easy pace on top of that is kind of feel like you're not trying a little bit you know that, that's the point of it you're supposed to be recovering so hope this helped you guys out a little bit if you enjoyed this video and you want to hear more tips please let me know uh, right now I'm actually training for the Chattanooga 5k so if you're going to be there let me know hit me up uh, and I'm doing the half as well 5k it's a season opener uh, last year for the 5k, I, uh, I ended with a 1628. That was my personal best. So I'm trying to improve on that. Uh, this race is a rust buster because I haven't raced a competitive 5k in a very long time. So if I just got a low 17, high 16, I'd be very happy. I'm not trying to PR, uh, being the first race of the season, but anyway, guys, I will see you on the next video.